I'm a wild wook that likes to test the limits of my consciousness and experiment to an almost deadly degree. Some describe me as a walking, talking narcotic. The DMT entities have told me drugs took my soul. Drugs have always been my biggest fascination in life, and I've done them all. In combinations from two to 10 substances at once, and heroic dosing almost everything. This is just to give context to the report. I'm not bragging by any means. So this is the story of when I ate a half an ounce of ultra-potent penis envy mushrooms without a trip sitter and walked to the park. I had bought these from a friend back when I was a little drug noob and had no idea what penis envies were. I thought shrooms were shrooms and I was a dirty little slut for visuals and spiritual experiences, so I wanted to eat all of $130 worth of the substance. I planned to go to this park that had a small wooded area where nobody ever went and thought I would intensely immerse myself into mother nature for this trip. It would be broad daylight outside. I go there around 2 p.m. when kids were getting off of school. This comes into play later. I wake up and pop six of my mom's butalbital, a barbiturate to treat migraines. I'm unsure as to whether or not it had any effect on the trip because the dose of the very powerful mushrooms was so drastic it probably overpowered everything. I go into the trip with a very positive mindset as all I plan to do is swing on the swing sets and listen to extra uplifting music and do a little exploring in the woods while in the midst of my mushroom mayhem. At first, I made a piece of toast to put the mushrooms on since there were so many. I did this on an empty stomach with orange juice. After the first piece of shroom toast, I decided to just devour them by themselves since the taste didn't really bother me. I eat all 14 grams of the thick penis envies and sit around for a half an hour before I started walking a short 10 minute distance to the park. On my way I felt moderately sedated, but the trip hadn't started yet. I make my way to the swing set and start swinging. It's about 2.45 in the afternoon and there were a couple of families with kids playing around the park, going on the slides, chasing each other, just having some good old fashioned wholesome family fun. And I'll be goddamned if I allowed that. So this little boy and little girl walked up to me to play with me while I was swinging. They threw a ball at me and I threw it back to them. Their parents then came up to me to make small talk and they were very, very friendly and were happy to see me playing with their kids. And then it hit me like I was a baby and the shrooms were Casey Anthony. My vision starts rippling, pulsating in a translucent geometric energy to the point where I could not see the ground inches away from me. The little boy had thrown the ball in front of me. I go to grab it and miss multiple times. The ball was fully camouflaged into the wood chips on the ground. The parents noticed and had this very emotionally startled vibe to them. Are you okay? They asked. I literally was about to say, yeah, I'm fine, and then fell off the swing when I tried to reach for the ball again. Are you sure you're alright? Well, there's absolutely no way I can maneuver around this. I have to come up with some kind of lie. So I pretend that I was in high school, even though I graduated a year ago and came straight from my house. I got pressure to do shrooms by some kids on the bus. I really wish I didn't do them. This shocked them as they gave me very weird, overwhelming looks, then said, Come on, kids, we gotta go. And then I blacked out. In what seemed like a blink of an eye, the whole family vanished, like into thin air. No kids or cars in sight. I snapped out of the blackout from the very overwhelming intensity of the shrooms, wondering if all that actually happened. I was alone, swinging very slowly with my head down. My vision was like crystallized bubble wrap. All the inanimate objects around me appeared to be sentient. I could feel the psilocybin traveling through the veins in my forehead. My brain felt like it was in a vacuum. Auditory hallucinations bombard me, and the best way I can describe them is if every noise was going down a drain and echoing through a pipe. I could hear conversations of people that were very far away. It was like my eardrum turned into a stretchy putty. I got up from the swing, took about two steps, and tripped and fell on my ass. This would keep happening continuously. I could not stand up for the life of me. This effect was a hundred times worse than my balance while being drunk. The trees look more like spiraling fractals than they did trees. I'm vibrating like an Xbox controller on rapid fire. An external force communicates by tuning my consciousness into this alternate vibrant realm of infinity. I get the almost violent urge to empty my bladder. Over the years, my ketamine, DPH, jimson weed, DXM, and alcohol abuse has inflamed my bladder into the size of a 2 liter soda, and it was full to the brim. I pull my pants down to urinate and it just pours out immediately on its own with the force of a fire hose. 
The intensity of the urination combined with my lack of inhibitions and balance caused me to fall over mid-piss. I'm peeing all over myself. I said, well fuck these clothes then, and removed all the pissy clothing from my body. Not too long after, I forget why I'm naked. I felt so connected to the earth and thought I must be new to prepare for intercourse, so I decided to have sex with the earth. I dig a hole into the ground and insert my dick into it and start pumping. I am merged into mother nature, she is me, and I am her. This connection brought out feelings of wanting to further submerge myself with the earth, so I started eating chunks of dirt straight out of the ground. During my dirt feast and muddy fuck fest, I look up cause I hear commotion. There was another wholesome family at the park. I picked up their vibes in an instant, the shock in their eyes beamed into my demonic saucers, their energy deflated like a balloon. I hear a woman's voice go, oh my god, and in response to this, I start growling, gnawing more chunks of dirt into my mouth like a madman and thrusting myself harder into the ground. They run to their cars and I growl some more, so they run faster. I start busting out into a salvia-like laughter, absolutely deranged and insane. I stop eating dirt so I can make dirt angels into the ground. With every movement, my bare naked body gets ate up by more and more bugs. As I was staring up into the sky, there were these spherically fractalized structures in the clouds. They look like artwork from Larry Carlson. A helicopter swings into view, and with my enhanced hearing, it was incredibly loud. It sounded like police had their megaphones out were yelling in a distorted jumbled funk. It sounded like they were making commands. This very much freaked me out, and I snapped out of my ego dissolution. I put my dirty clothes back on and look for my phone and house keys. After 10 minutes of searching, I give up and realize I needed to get out of here as soon as possible. As I'm about to leave, my friend Skylar pulls up in her charger. I had no idea why she was here, but I was extremely relieved. She came to save the day. I hop in the passenger seat and let out a heavy sigh. She covers her mouth and says, Oh my god, what have you been doing? You smell like piss, and what's that brown stuff around your mouth? I look in the mirror and slightly remember what had went down. I was eating dirt and I fucked mother nature. She bursts out laughing in disbelief. How many shrooms did you take? I say, a half ounce. She laughs again. Only you. I urge her to drive so she pulls out of the small parking area and towards my home. I look behind me and see two police cars pull into the parking lot shortly after we had left. Holy shit balls, I just got extremely fucking lucky. I mumble a thank you to the psychedelic entities of hyperspace. I was still having stretched out auditory hallucinations and my pupils were like super massive black holes. So how did you have this impeccable timing? I asked. You texted me a half hour ago to come get you. I literally have no recollection of this whatsoever. I'm actually in awe that all of this insanity came together to prevent me from getting arrested. She drops me off at my place and tells me to be safer next time. Anxiety comes over me as I reach for the door handle because I did not want to ring the doorbell and have my parents come to see me. I had to sneak around them so I could change my stinky clothes and wash my face. I push open the door quietly. Yes, it's already unlocked. My parents were upstairs in the kitchen watching TV and turned towards me as I walk in. Where have you been? I tell them I have to go to the bathroom and run in there to clean up. I change my clothes, wash my face, and brush my teeth. I take a look at myself in the mirror and I look crazy high. I'd say I was coming down now but still getting that fisheye magnification on my eyes and other features of my face. I walk out the bathroom and my mom says, Come here! She takes one glance at me and says, You look drunk. Wow, my mom is such a noob. I just agree and tell her I went to the park for a few hours and got drunk with some friends. Surprisingly, she didn't hound me with nagging and more questions, so I go downstairs to watch TV and let my trip die down. Wow, my first bad mushroom trip. There are literally hundreds of bug bites all over my body. I lost all my stuff, and these shrooms kicked my ass.